Hey guys, what's up? It's Hammer and Hank here. I just wanted to show you something on my asparagus. They say that you're normally supposed to get almost all male asparagus. And uh, wouldn't you know it, out of three, I have two females. And how do I know that? Well, let me show you. Here is an asparagus fern with all a bunch of little balls on it, green balls. These green balls will turn red. Once they turn to a full mature red, uh, you can actually uh, squeeze them out and they'll have about one to six seeds per ball. And uh, you put them on a, uh, well first you, you, you rinse out the berries, you get all the seed, all the, all the berry off of the seed. And once you've got it purely rinsed down to seed, then you just um, put them on a paper plate with some um, napkins or paper towels and you dry them for one to two weeks and don't take me lightly on that you want to dry them they're very hard seeds you want to make sure they're dry very dry because they hold a lot of moisture inside and otherwise they probably wouldn't be very good the next year or they may even rot in storage so you have to dry them out I have one female that had you can't see them now but this thing got really beat up by the wind um, this one here really beat up by the wind it's got a fern and uh, it looks okay but it had like some little flower like looking things that obviously uh well that told me it was different than uh the other one so i knew it, it was a male so anyway i got two females and uh that's how you save your seed from asparagus and how you know whether you have males or females this is Hammer and Hank saying keep on hammering away at your garden and I'm out of here.